Hello, I'm Dr. Harper. This video is on operations management. It's part A of the homework for Excel, an Excel tutorial for business forecasting. So let's bring up the problem. Carla, chair of the forecasting committee, calls a planning meeting to discuss the forecast for year 10 using the annual time series sales and millions of dollars. Now your numbers may be different than these, but the process is the same. Amy used a moving average with a window of three, since she has worked well in the past. Uh, what forecast did Amy report? Bob used simple linear regression, since he suspected a linear trend. What forecast did Bob report? And in comparing the two forecasts, Carla asked for a tracking signal with a window of three. Tracking signal, what tracking signals did uh, Amy and Bob report? So here are the answers. Let's get the answers. First, let's highlight this. Control C to copy. Let's open up Excel. And let's uh, come down here and paste. Control V to paste. Now, what we want is going to be a moving average with a window of, of four. Is that true? Uh, with a window of three. MA with a window of three and regression. Okay, so let's open this up. Let's enlarge this, and so let's work through this. And we want uh, the forecast for time period 10. Okay, here we go. Okay, for a moving average of three, we come down three. Uh, the next, very next uh, time period is four. So that equals the average. So the moving average of the window of three would be the average of the previous three numbers, one, two, and three, and that's the forecast for time period four. And we can copy that all the way down, and we can see the forecast is going to be 8.7. Now regression is the intercept of the y variables, which is the time series, comma the x variables, which is the time, the independent variable plus the slope of the same numbers of the uh, y variables, comma the x variables, times the time, which is the year, year one for the, for the first year. Our pressure return and our forecast is 3.16. But if I highlight this and click uh, the bar and double click this, we see that, well, we want the D3 to copy all the way down to 10 to get the forecast, but we don't want the Y and the X's to change, so we highlight these F4 to fix them. The dollar sign is fixing them. Likewise, for the slope, we want the values to be the same and not change, so we'll F4 to fix them, press return, and now as we copy these down, we see that the forecast is going to be 10. So 8.7 and 10 are the forecast. We see 8.7 and 10. So now let's do the uh, tracking signal with a window of 3. So let's highlight this. For a window of 3, we want these last three data points. So let's highlight these. Bring these down here. So now what we want here is the D minus F, D minus F, the demand data minus the forecast, and the absolute value of D minus F. And we want this for the uh, moving average with the window of three. And for regression. So let's do it. So this is going to equal the demand data, which is 8.5, minus the forecast. Well, for moving average, it's going to be 5.833. Return. The absolute value is equals A, B, S, the function for absolute value of that number, in parentheses. For regression, uh, the data is 8.5 again, minus the forecast for regression is 7.72. And so the absolute value is ABS of the, the deviations. Now we can copy this down and do it for all three values. And now, so here's our forecast here. Let's box this in. 
Now over here for the uh, uh, forecast accuracy, let's take the sum, let's take the average, and then let's take the tracking signal. Okay, this equals the sum of all three of these. And there they go. This is going to equal the average of all three of these. And let's copy these down, and there they are. Okay. Now the uh, mean deviation is going to be there and there. The mean, uh, the mean, uh, the mean deviation is there and there. The mean absolute deviation is going to be there and there. But then the tracking signal, remember, equals the sum of the deviations divided by the mean absolute deviation or the mad. And we can copy this down. We don't need that. And we see it's 3 and 0 0.98. We come down here and we see it's 3 and 0 0.98. And so there, there are the answers. So we'll box this in and box this in. Center these. And so those two answers and these two answers, those are answers this, to this uh, part A of the forecasting homework with the Excel tutorial. That's all I have for this video.